My name is Kevin Steller, and I'm a Principal Technical Lead with Esri Training Services. And today I want to talk to you about the editing environment settings in ArcGIS Pro. Keeping our data up to date is one of the most important workflows that we perform in ArcGIS Pro. However, all of us edit a little bit differently, so it's important to understand how to adjust those envir editing environment settings in ArcGIS Pro. To access those settings, we can either go to the Project tab and then down to Options, and then under Application, click Editing, and this will show our settings. The other option is from the Edit tab in this lower right-hand corner in the Manage Edits group, we have a launcher. And this launcher will launch those same settings. So in our settings, there are several different sections. And the first of these sections is the General section. So under General, we can change how ArcGIS Pro behaves when we are working with attributes. So we can enforce our attribute validation. We can warn on a subtype change. So if we have subtypes in our data and we change that, we'll get a warning. If we have uncommitted attribute edits from our attributes pane and we change tools, we can either choose to get prompted to apply those changes. We can have Pro automatically apply them or discard them. I like to have these automatically apply. That way I don't lose my attribute changes. In the geometry group, we can change whether or not our sketches change proportionately when we move a vertex, both for regular sketches and for topology, when we have topology active. I will typically turn this off because I just want to change my vertexes. I don't want other ones to move along with it. In the productivity group, these are a little bit more general. We can choose to turn off, show the feature symbology when we're sketching. So if we are creating a feature and we do not want to see the symbology, we can turn this off. So sometimes I will turn this off or keep this on, depends on what I am digitizing. The one thing I do like to turn off is enabling the double click as a shortcut to finish. So when I digitize, I don't want to accidentally click too fast and accidentally finish a sketch before I want to. So I turn this off so that I have to use F2 or the contextual menu to finish the sketch or the editing toolbar to finish the sketch. In underneath session, I like to turn on the enable disable editing from the edit tab. This will make a button appear on the ribbon that will allow me to enable or disable the editing functionality. So I can choose when I want to, to make those edits and those changes. I also like to automatically get prompted to save my edits. And I usually do this on a time interval of about 15 minutes. We can also do this by the number of operations. If I am working with an annotation feature class, I can change how ArcGIS Pro behaves when I'm working with annotation. And then lastly, in the symbology group, I can change the way vertexes appear when I am sketching or when I am modifying vertexes. So for those selected vertexes, I like to change this to something that stands out a little bit more. So I will make this a triangle that's a bright blue, and I will make this a bit larger. So now any selected vertexes will be this blue triangle. These settings are application level, so they will persist from project to project. And I encourage you to experiment with these settings to find the environment that works best for you. 